Are you feeling good, man? This is exciting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my next guest, the one, the only, Eddie Wilson. Eddie, come on out, man. Excited to have you, as always. You know, I, I interview a ton of people yeah. on the show. With, with Trump, like, you always gotta find, but, but yeah, B uh, Biden's gonna be a, a tough one as they come up here. On this one, so I'm gonna give you the Sharpie first, okay. then you're gonna write it, and then, uh, and then me and you're gonna talk about it for a second, okay. as soon as you get this one written in here. And hopefully you use a word that no one's used before. Here's Eddie Wilson's right here. He says, money is a revealer. Money is a revealer. No one's used that one. I freaking love this word right here. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest, Jason and Tori. Jason, come on out, man. You are it, brother. Yeah. All the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you for having Tori, right? Good to see you. Yeah. I'm glad. Uh, I'm actually really, really pumped about this interview. Uh, normally, it's all straight business. And uh, with you guys, I can do country music as like well. She's and definitely the entertaining one. For yeah, sure. no, this is going to be good, man. We're going to have some fun here. And, uh, and we got real estate investor. And we got country music rock star. Is that the right terminology for that? <laughs> rock star. If you want to go like that. Recording artist. Recording you artist. Know. You guys own a uh, label. Uh, we're going to dive into all that stuff uh, here with you. Before we do that, uh, I want to get the background. I want to be a cowboy. I'm really not a cowboy, yeah. but, you know, a lot of people say I remind them of John Wayne. So we'll go with I've it, right? I've never seen that. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, no. So I bought these two horses, and uh, there's a long story how I ended up getting those. Okay. But uh, we won't get into that. But uh, there was this family that I kept the horses on their property. Right. And um, a kind family, but you know, just different, right? Okay. And I remember walking in their house. I hope it's not your your in laws or Well, you know, no, it's okay, not. Good. Good. I, was, I was getting worried. Yeah. No. So I walk into the house. They have these pictures of these girls. Uh, on uh, the wall. Yeah. And, uh, that makes it sound really creepy, but it's not. Yeah. You don't like to tell you have your children's right? yeah. photos. Okay, it right. wasn't a yeah. 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 I really wasn't, you know, adding it up. And so I was like, okay, who's, who's that girl? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, that's uh, Casey, our daughter's best friend. And I was like, oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. So they consider me family. They call oh, me like you a daughter. And the other girl. Yeah, okay. that's why my photo was up there. They're like, that's our daughter. They call okay. me daughter. So that was why, yeah. And I met Jason. Not that day, although he did reach out to me yeah. on Facebook that day. Hey guys, to our viewers, thanks so much for watching this episode of Money is Show. We're gonna leave you with our first time ever performance uh, on this show here with our special guest, Tori Martin. You guys make sure you follow her at Tori Martin and you'll take it away with a brand new song. Thank you. So the song I'm gonna share with you guys is called What Would Dolly Do? Dolly Parton has been a huge inspiration to me as an artist, a songwriter, philanthropist, a businesswoman, honestly, just a human being. In particular, I went to Dollywood last year for the very first time. I didn't really have high expectations. I was like, it's probably a smaller like version of you know Disney World, but it was incredible, and I had the greatest time. But what inspired me to write this song was I went into her museum, and I found these handwritten letters that were on the wall and like a section of the museum. And it was when she was 16 or 17 years old. And she was talking about when she made the move to Nashville and just starting out in the music industry. And it was really moving for me and put it into perspective that she's been exactly where I've been. And so that's what inspired this one and hopefully it inspires you.
Interview of the week. Yeah. Voice is still strong, so we're good, bro. Yeah. 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 One, two, three, action. All right, well, Eddie, what's, what's up, up, guys? Victor, what's happening, man? You doing good? Still How you doing, bud? You doing good, That's brother. a surprise. Hey, how are you? See ya. How you doing, Jen? Dylan Victor? Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, hey, Ready? Hear me pretty good? Uh, oh, yeah. They do. They really the back door open. Okay. Good luck, man. Hey, thanks. Going. Appreciate so it. Nice and camera. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my next guest, Victor Moss. Thank you, man. Good to see you, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, man. All right. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love it, man. I love okay. it. First one, I would do that. This is probably my favorite part of the show. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not showing you guys on purpose yet. And because I love to see the creativity and the brain of different people, successful people like yourself, and what their answers are, right? So here we go. Uh, Victor Moss, attorney. No, let me back up. Victor Moss, investor. Investor. Attorney. Broker. Broker. Yeah. Real estate club owner. Money is <laughs> green. Money is green. Alright, so we're gonna do a putt putt because Victor supposedly loves the golf. So we're gonna put him to you the test here. Him signing it or? Jen, you don't have a ball in your purse. I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. That was better than I thought. No, Are we gonna mark good. it? Whoa. Oh. 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 Suckers come and play golf, they lose all the time. Yeah. I sucker them in here, bro. You got it. That, that's a really good one. Money is green. What's up, guys? It's Drew. I'm here with Victor Moss. We're about to jump on the Money Is Show and drop some serious knowledge on you. Victor, what are you going to talk about? I'm a real estate investor, lawyer, broker, but nobody gives a damn. All you want to know is how do you find deals, how do you find sellers, how do you put a deal together? That's why I like Victor, because nobody gives a damn. We just want the truth, the knowledge, the content, and that's Victor Moss. That's right. Here, I feel like the desk is swallowing me. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. <laughs> Not at all. This is fun. This is part of it, right? Sure, but I like this part. Yeah, this is fun. Ready, but you'll be in the BTS. I'll be in the what? Behind the scenes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we'll redo it for you. We'll send you a new one. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. You didn't call me, you called Brandon McCurdy. We'll put that on the file. One, uh, you, what's your one word or phrase? It's up to you. I love watching people's answers right here. I've got some really, really good ones. You sign it right there. What's up, guys? This is Drew here. Peterson from Austin, Texas, talking about the apartment guy. Bruce, what are you gonna talk about on the show today? A little bit of apartment syndication, apartment education, empathy, caring about people, just having a ball. Man, this guy is a fun, fun time. You better put your earplugs in because I hear he drops the F-bomb. You guys follow us on the Money Show. Honestly, say it's the best one of these types of things I've ever done. I say types of things. I've never done anything like this. Lots of podcasts, lots of TV interviews, news things, but nothing like this. This was a blast. I got to meet myself, got to meet a bunch of cool people, so I can't thank you guys enough for this.
I say we get the kayak. It's unlimited. Okay, from a thing that could come ball, un unlimited nice. uh, stuff. It's what we did money in. Alright, y'all hooking me up. Y'all setting me up. Something gonna come out of me. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at the. Oh! You suck, man. This was his idea, right? That's good, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is James Kandasami. James, come on out here, buddy. My friend, how are you? Hey, good to see you, man. Good Thank good you for coming. Good to see you. Happy to be here. Yes, yes, I'm glad to have you, man. I love what you do. So Thank you. excited to talk about it. Absolutely. answers on what money means to them and uh, so I'm gonna give you a sharpie here and whether it be one word or a phrase it's up to you and uh, and then I'm gonna have you sign it as well I'm gonna okay. have the camera guy come over your shoulder just for a second there and uh, so we can get a cool shot here of you sure and then we'll talk about what that answer is and oh, why you, my picture there. yeah it's your awesome. pictures on it <laughs> yes your mugshot right there can I ride with this that's it uh, money uh, is uh, for you what does sure. it mean to you um, Karma. Karma. That's the first answer we've ever got of it. Sign it right here for me. <laughs> Sign it right there for me. And then uh, I look forward to talking about this one. Money is karma. Oh, I love having my picture behind it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's very personalized. Very personalized. So uh, first one I got of karma. Very excited. The team here is awesome. And um, it's just, everything is done very professionally, so I'm happy to be here and happy to be and, uh, on Money Show. Plan of day is to go mountain biking and not die. <laughs> this is like my third time doing it, so we'll see. And of course, this is my third time, I'm already about 10 grand in the sport. Oh God. <laughs> Freaking mountain biking. <laughs> so, I don't think you can afford any more sports. <laughs> That's probably true. I'm gonna eat what? some of the shoes for my breakfast. Will I eat it? Will I throw it up? Yep. It will, I will throw it up? No. Uh -oh. Riding and filming is not easy. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> yeah, you were fine. How are you feeling about this interview? It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is Brandon McCurdy. Brandon, come on out, man. Brandon, thanks for coming. We're all the way from Chicago, the old Windy City, and uh, my actual old hometown. Yeah. Uh, or secondary home, maybe, I guess. 
uh, is Chicago Windy City. And The back of our money is metal. These are incredibly nice pictures for, uh, that we, we bring for the guests, but we want to make sure they stick to the wall. Just like our guests, their message sticks to our ears. I want to make sure it sticks to the wall. So I'm having to get some super glue to put on the back, command strip, and bingo. Maybe what are we doing here? Gotta get ready for this one because you know he's all in your suits. He's a little better looking than you, but I don't want you to feel, uh, you know, insecure. It's all you, Drew. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my next guest, Mr. Bill Jennings. Bill, come on out, man. Bill, thanks for coming, brother. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to have you. I'm also uh, nervous uh -oh. to have you because Why's you're that? one of the rare guys that actually can hang with me in suits. <laughs> okay, what's your answer? What does it mean? Um, I think money is useless if you don't know what to do with it, right? Like a lot of people don't understand money. Okay. Right? You always teach like the movement of money, right? Yeah, money movement. Once you understand money, uh -huh. then there's a value to it. Uh -huh. But there's no value to like money by itself is going to do nothing for you, which kind of goes along with what Grant was saying, right? Money doesn't have any value until you exchange it for something, uh -huh. right? on too. Nice. These, all these clowns work for me. I need some football. Let's see. What do you got? Um, I got a, I got a, a, a NFL guy coming on my show today. So I'm going to have him op rip some cards with me. Andrew, you've got a hundred dollar limit this time. Shit. Okay? <laughs> Well, we're way past that. Cool. Damn. Actually, it wasn't as bad as last time. I think last time I spent, I came in twice. Thank you. Thank you. You hear that, baby? Yep. Just getting Taysen Hill in the show, baby. AC Sports is taking off. Hi, <laughs> Matt. Feeling great. Are you excited? Thank you. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is the one, the only, Mr. Matt Brown. Matt, come on out here, buddy. Thank you. Glad you came, brother. Thank you. Glad to have you on the Thank show, you. man. Thank you. Excited to have you on the show. Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it. Quitting was never an option. Exhausted, exhausted. This passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it. Nah, you cannot stop it. Switch up the flow, show you the way that it go God is good, but his life is hard But it gets better when you grind it small I'm just really trying to leave a mark We tired of being who they say we are That's the time we gon' take a fall It's the real actual secret of the show Is not water The real secret 
is bucked up. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest for you is Aaron Chapman. Aaron, come out here, buddy. Hey, Woo! Oh, Aaron. Arizona. I appreciate you coming out, man. I appreciate you putting me on here. It was amazing uh, how much we have in common. And uh, especially our choice. <laughs> You sign it, even if it's your other hand. Uh, I'm gonna have you sign. I think I can see the track. Sign that one right there. Probably done a hundred thousand times. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>